a three martini lunch backstage with, with Mick Jagger. Hello, my name is Liz Ade. I'm a professional singer. A couple months back, I started experiencing troubles with my voice. I noticed it one night at a gig. Our songs that are normally really, really easy for me were just a little bit hard. By the end of the night, I was raspy, so I thought maybe I was coming down with a cold. So I showed up to the next gig and my voice was a bit worse. Uh, I was getting tired real quick and those easy songs were like a bit harder. <laughs> And uh, so I started to get worried. I went to the GP, doctor, a couple of different GPs, and um, it was suggested to go see uh, ENT. I saw one, and he said, "Ah, nothing's the matter. You don't have any nodes, no calluses," and thought maybe it was acid reflux burning my throat, but uh, it wasn't. I took reflux meds for two months after that and had no improvement. In fact, I was getting much, much worse. At the gigs, uh, I would be crapping out halfway through a very gentle set. Not me at all. I've, I've always had a very strong voice. It's always been there for me through real, real hard times. I finally saw a voice specialist, ENT, with a speech pathologist, and they discovered that my left vocal cord wasn't working properly. That was really great to be told that it's not in my head and uh, that something is actually the matter, you know. Um, however, very terrifying because it's a tricky condition. Um, the next thing was to find out what was causing it, or what is causing it. Um, went through heaps of tests and lots and lots of things. I'll spare you all the details. Turns out I uh, couldn't find anything the matter <laughs> with me after like MRIs and everything. Now we think maybe it's just a virus. Um, so I've been pretty much sent home um, saying live clean get healthy, stay positive, which is really hard because I want to sing and I can't. Um, it's not an easy thing to talk about and I've kept this a secret for a long time because it's really painful. <laughs> anyway, I'm to do um, really gentle warm-ups through a straw. And I'm also doing it, making bubbles before I do that, which is much less depressing than singing with my crap kazoo voice through a straw. I've been trying to find other singers that are going through the same thing, and I've found so little on the topic in general. I think it's just not easy to talk about because it's terrifying. I might not sing again. Not cool. <laughs> it's also really hard to talk, um, especially in a crowd. Uh, my voice is so little. You know, I'm kind of invisible <laughs> in, in situations where I used to be very present. Um, when my voice is so tiny, I can't compete with other people's voices. Sorry, this is really hard to talk about. Anyway, I just wanted to put my stuff up there so other people going through it will find somebody who's sticking it out there. I'm on a mission for health because uh, I need to sing again and I'll demonstrate to you how crap my voice has become. <laughs> 